Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to Mustang Academy. In today's chapter, we will be studying about angles and trigonometrical ratios. In angles, we will study about system of measurement of angles, degrees and radians, trigonometrical ratios, basic ratios, Pythagorean identities, angles at various quadrants, sign of trigonometrical ratios, the four quadrants, value of trigonometrical ratios, trigonometrical ratios for sum and differences, trigonometrical ratios for multiple angles. So, let's begin our class. Uh, let's start the chapter. The first thing that we are going to learn is degrees and radians. So, so let's see what angle is. Angle is a ray that is rotated on its axis and it comes from the initial position A to the final position B. So, the amount of rotation that is there in the ray is nothing but the angle of the ray. Let us call this theta. So, there are various methods of measuring this angle. So, the olden method is the degree method and the standard method is the radian method. Now, let us see what are degrees and what are radians. A circle is divided into 360 degrees. As we know, we can have four quadrants in the circle and each quadrant is 90 degrees and the full circle is made up of 360 degrees. Similarly, let's see a radian. A circle has got two pi radians. We all know that. So, there, there must be a question in your mind. What is a radian? We know about the angle that a ray is rotated on its axis. Then it makes an the amount of rotation is the angle. So, what is a radian? So, radian is nothing but if you have a circle of radius r and if there is a of length r. So, the amount of angle it substance to the center is called one radian. So, the length of the r and the length of the radius also r. So, the angle which it makes at the center is one radian. So, this is a radian. Now, let us see the relation between radian and degrees. We know that a circle has 2 pi or 360 degree. So, let us see what one radian is. 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees. So, we know that pi is equal to 22 upon 7. 2 into 22 upon 7 equal to 360. Hence, 1 radian equal to 360 into 7, 22 into 2. It comes to 57.27. So, 1 radian equal to 57.27 degrees. So, gentlemen, we have seen angles and the measurements. We have seen what is a degree. We have seen what is a radian. And we have seen the relation between degrees and radians. So, now let us see the various trigonometric ratios. So, we have a right angle triangle at right angle at B. So, let us see what are the various trigonometrical ratios. So, theta, the opposite side in this is, let us call it P. And the adjacent side, let us call B. And H is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Now, let us see various trigonometrical angles. The uh, trigonometrical signs that are there. So, now let us see various trigonometric ratios. Here we have a triangle, right angled at B, triangle ABC. The angle here is theta, there is perpendicular or opposite side, there is adjacent side B, and then there is a hypotenuse. Now, let us see what is sin theta. Sin theta is nothing but perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Cos theta is based upon hypotenuse and tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So, th these are the trigonometrical ratios that you have to remember. So, I will give you one simple uh, formula by which you can, you do not have to mug it up and you will remember. So, here we have sin, cos, tan and in my childhood, my teacher told me that, you know, Pandit Badri Prasad Har Har Bhole. So, this is what I still gather and this is how it has helped me. So, sin is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Perpendicular is nothing but the opposite side. Cos is base upon hypotenuse. Base is nothing but the adjacent side. And tan is perpendicular upon base. So, this is how you can 
remember this this is how you can derive this if you don't remember similarly we can find out the angles like cosec theta sec theta and cot theta which are inverse of sin theta inverse of sin theta is cosec theta so here we make it reciprocal of sin theta and then sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta so we make the reciprocal of the angles and cot theta is reciprocal of tan so we make the reciprocal of that so now we will see some of the trigonometrical identities or pythagorean identities so we all know that sin squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to 1 that is the uh, what we have in equation 1 and then we have tan squared theta plus 1 is sec squared theta so it's nothing but you divide the equation 1 by cos squared theta so sin upon cos becomes tan cos upon cos squared theta becomes 1 and 1 upon cos squared theta because becomes sec squared theta so uh, this is how this equation is derived and then again you when you derive the equation 1 with sin squared theta you've got sin squared theta upon sin squared theta equal to 1 cos squared theta upon sin squared theta equal to cot squared theta and 1 upon sin squared theta is equal to cos x squared theta so these are the three identities that we will be using it in our later part of this lecture we all know that in the four quadrants the first quadrant ranges between 0 to 90 degree and the second quadrant is between 90 to 180 degree the third quadrant is between 180 degree to 270 degree and the fourth quadrant ranges between 270 to 360 degree or 0 degree because when you take a full circle then it comes to 360 degree now let us see the various signs and the behavior in this quadrant so we know that in the first quadrant sin cos tan sec cosec and cot everything is positive so here we write all positive the trigonometrical signs are positive and in the second quadrant only sign is positive sign positive here all positive okay in the third quadrant what is positive tan is positive tan and cot is positive second quadrant sin and cosec are positive rest all identities are negative here tan tan is positive and cot is positive because it is a reciprocal a reciprocal of a positive number is also a positive number we all know that in the last quadrant cos is positive cos is positive and hence the reciprocal of this positive sec will also be positive so we have a s p c or as i used to remember all science teachers are clever okay so this is how i remember so we will be using, uh, using this in our problems when we do, do the problems now let us see various angles these are the important angles 0 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree and what are the sines cosines and tangents of these angles so sine 0 what what would be sine 0 sine 0 is 0 what about cos 0 cos 0 is 1 and what about tan 0 tan 0 is also 0 so let us see the sign what the sign ranges from from 0 degree to 90 degree how what is the variation in the sign of the angle so sin 0 is 0 sin 30 is 1 upon 2 sin 45 is 1 upon root 2 sin 60 is root 3 upon 2 and sin 90 is 1 we are clear so far so now let us see what the cos ranges from as we know cos of 30 is root 3 upon 2 cos of 45 cos of 45 is also 1 upon root 2 cos of 60 is 1 upon 2 and cos of 90 is 0 so we see that cosec cos ranges from 1 to 0 
Now let's see what what is the range of tan from zero to ninety. So tan of zero is zero. Tan of thirty is nothing but one upon root three. Tan of forty five is one. Tan of sixty is root three. And tan of ninety is infinity. Okay, it is not defined. So here we can see that the tangent ranges from zero degree till infinity in the first quadrant. That is zero to ninety degrees. Now, for those like me who found it difficult to remember this, the next step will be how to go about deriving it. So if you don't know the angles, if you don't know the values of this, you just write. Zero, one, two, three, and four. Divide everything by four and put the take the root of it. So this will be zero, one upon two, one upon root two. Root three upon two and one. So this is nothing but if you see the previous slide of mine, this is the angle of ranging of sine for zero degree, thirty degree, forty-five degree, sixty degree, and ninety degree. So let's see the behavior of cos. Cos is nothing but you reverse it. Put it in reverse order. So sine ninety is one. So that will come. One will come here. So cos of zero is one, and then root three upon two will come here. So cos of thirty is root three upon two. Cos of forty five will be one upon root two only. So it is coming in reverse order, and cos of sixty is one upon two, and cos of ninety is zero. And for tan. We know that tan theta is equal to sine theta upon cos theta. So divide sine upon cos. Simple. Zero upon one is zero only. One upon two and root three upon two gets you one upon root three. One upon root two upon one upon root two is one. Root three upon two and one upon two is nothing but root three. And one upon zero is infinity. So this is how. If you don't know or you've got some doubts about the identities, you can derive. But you should remember this because it makes your work very easy. In the NDA question paper, there are one twenty questions, and the time is two and a half hours. That is one fifty minutes. So approximately one minute plus or one minute ten seconds will be there for each question. So it is better for you to just you know. Learn this by heart, all these quantities. And for people who can't mug up or make it by heart, this is the met method by which you can derive it. Okay, now we will see trigonometrical ratios for sums and differences. Sine of a plus b. So, what is sine of a plus b? It is nothing but sine of a cos of b plus cos of a sine of b. Everyone clear? Everyone with me? Okay. And uh, what is cos of a plus b? Cos of a plus b. Is equal to cos a into cos b minus sine a into sine b. Okay, and what is tan of a plus b equal to tan of a plus b is nothing but Tan of a plus tan of b upon 
वन माइनस टेन ए टेन बी सो वी आर क्लियर ऑन दिस वॉट इज वॉट आर वेरियस सम्स ऑफ टिग्नोमेट्रिकल आइडेंटिटीज एंड ऑल्सो लेट एस सी इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड द डिफरेंसेस सो हियर लेट एस ऑब्जर्व दिस सो दैट इट इज इट बिकम्स इजियर फॉर आस टू रिमेंबर साइन ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज साइन ए कॉस बी प्लस कॉस ए साइन बी सो हियर वी हैव सीन दैट दिस साइन इज पॉजिटिव एंड दिस साइन इज पॉजिटिव एंड इट बिगन्स विथ ए साइन ए एंड इट्स ऑल्टरनेटिव ऑन दैट साइड कॉस बी एंड कॉस ए एंड साइन बी इन कॉस ए प्लस बी इट इज माइनस द साइन हेयर इज पॉजिटिव बट इट इज नेगेटिव सो कॉस ए कॉस बी माइनस साइन ए साइन बी एंड टेन इज सिंपल टेन ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू टेन ए प्लस टेन बी अपॉन वन माइनस टेन ए टेन बी so gentlemen we are clear so far okay now let's go to the negative of this so sin of a minus b similarly the sign would be the same so sin a cos b minus cos a sin b similarly we have seen that cos of a plus b was cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so you can make out if the sin is negative what would it be it would be cos a cos b plus sin a sin b okay and what would tan b tan of a minus b equal to tan of a minus tan of b upon 1 plus tan of a into tan of b okay so the signs are reversed we have seen sin of a minus b there in sin of a plus b it was the sin was plus here it is minus the sin is minus rest all are same similarly in cos of a minus b in cos of a plus b here the sign was my, uh, negative now when it is negative here the sign is positive rest all are same tan of a minus b it is the same tan of a minus tan b in tan of a plus b it was tan a plus tan b okay so negative sign here negative sign here and the denominator was 1 minus tan a tan b but the sign since the sign is negative it would be 1 plus tan a tan b so these are the various trigonometrical sums of trigonometrical ratios now let us see uh, some of the sums of trigonometrical identities now we'll take sin c plus d sin c minus d cos c plus d and cos c minus d sin of c plus sin of d equal to Yeah, anyone? Two sine of c plus d upon two into cos of c minus d upon two. See, here sine is positive, so sine and sine is positive. Sine of c minus sin of d equal to yes 2 sin of c minus d upon 2 into cos of c plus d upon 2 here we have seen that when the sign is positive here so in the sign function the sign is positive here when the sign is negative the sign in the sign function is negative and cos function is positive and in the first equation the cos is negative so you have to keep this in mind now let us see what is cos of c 
सी प्लस कॉस ऑफ डी या वॉट इज कॉस ऑफ सी प्लस कॉस ऑफ डी इट्स नथिंग बट टू कॉस ऑफ सी प्लस डी अपॉन टू एंड कॉस ऑफ सी माइनस डी अपॉन टू कॉस ऑफ सी माइनस डी अपॉन टू ओके सो नाउ लेट एस सी साइन टू ए कॉस टू ए एंड टेन टू ए साइन टू ए इक्वल टू इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज साइन ऑफ ए प्लस ए डू यू रिमेंबर एनीथिंग Sounds familiar? Is nothing but sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. But B is not here, so on place of B it is A. So we put A here. Okay. so it will be sin a cos a plus cos a sin a which becomes nothing but 2 sin a cos of a so this is how you get that now let's see what is cos 2 a cos 2 a is equal to cos squared of a minus sin squared of a okay so how did this come what is cos of a plus a equal to it is equal to cos of a if it was b it would have been cos of b but here cos of a into cos of a minus sin of a into sin of b but for b we a here sin of a then it becomes cos squared of a minus sin squared of a okay so this is how you derive and we can write this in terms of tan also in terms of cos also if you want to write in terms of uh, cosec also you can write or in terms of tan nothing but just you know divide numer uh, everything numerator and denominator take it one and cos squared both numerator and denominator you divide by cos squared of a so it will become one also can be written as sin squared of a plus cos squared of a isn't it and now we divide everything by cos squared of a so it becomes 1 minus tan squared of a upon so here dividing everything by cos squared of a will give you cos squared of a upon cos squared of a is 1 sin squared of a upon sin squared of a is tan squared of a sin squared of a upon cos squared of a is tan squared of a and cos squared of a upon cos squared of a is 1 so we can also write this as 1 minus tan squared of a upon 1 plus tan squared of a it can be also written in this form too so tan 2a let us remember the form that formula that we had tan a plus b tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b so here it is replace b by a that is tan a plus a it will be tan of a plus tan of a upon 1 minus tan of a into tan of a so it becomes 2 tan of a upon 1 minus tan squared of 
a isn't it so now we are clear on various trigonometric ratios now let us see the last identity that is sin 3a cos 3a and tan 3a so sin 3a what would be it equal to equal to 3 sin of a minus 4 sin cube of a okay is it clear now cos 3a would be equal to so everything about cos is different from sin as we see sin range from 0 to 1 in the first quadrant and cos range from 1 to 0 so you can imagine what this would be this would be minus sin would be minus so minus minus 3 cos of a plus 4 cos cube of a you can write the other way but i have just given this for you to understand the difference between sin and cos and also the relation between it okay sin 3 a is 3 sin of a minus 4 sin cube a and similarly cos 3 a is minus 3 cos of a see the sign is negative here negative sign here positive sign so 4 sin cube a and here it is 4 cos cube a so that is how it is now let us see what is tan 3a tan of 3a equal to 3 tan a minus tan cube a 3 tan of a minus tan cube of a upon yeah anyone 1 minus 3 tan squared of a okay so these are the trigonometrical identities which will be used in your questions all the questions will be based on this so gentlemen with that i finish my class and i hope you understood what the trigonometric ratios are all about and we will do the practice questions on this trigonometrical ratios and applications of this trigonometrical ratios to know the heights and distances in the next class. Thank you.